came across in uh, Celestron's CPWI software, which is a software that you can use on a PC or a laptop to control your Celestron mounted telescope. So I've got the uh, 60th anniversary edition here of the Edge HD 8 inch aperture on the Evolution mount, and the Evolution mount has Wi Fi built in. So I am using CPWI on my laptop connected to the mount uh, over Wi Fi. Um, neat thing that you can do to uh, control the slewing of the telescope is to use a game controller. And so I've got an Xbox One controller here. Um, pretty much any Xbox One controller made over the last four years will have um, Bluetooth enabled. And uh, with Bluetooth, you can connect the controller to your laptop um, as a control device. And CPWI will recognize that so you can slew uh, your telescope. Uh, in the default setting, uh, it'll slew them up to the maximum uh, slew speed of 9. So here I'll just hold the thumb controller up to the max. But you can also go slower by moving the, th the thumbstick um, a shorter, uh, shorter distance. So here I'm pulling it down a little bit and you can hear the motor going. So in that default mode, uh, the speeds range from um, the uh, motor speed of about 5 to 9, uh, which means that you can move up to a maximum of about 4 degrees per second. If you hold down uh, the A button, uh, what that does is it limits the maximum speed to uh, the motor speed of 7. So here I'll go to maximum now with the A button down. And of course I can also go slower by adjusting how much I'm pressing on that on that thumbstick. You can restrict the, um, the speed even more by holding the X button. Uh, so with the X button uh, pressed and held down, the fastest amount will move is speed 5. And so you really can't even see that on the video. You can just sort of hear it. And again, I can go slower by reducing how much I'm pressing on the thumbstick. To restrict even further, you can hold down both the A and the X button at the same time and the fastest it'll move is speed 3. And you can actually get it to move as slow as speed 0. So in, uh, with both these buttons held down, uh, you can actually get it to move as slow as 1 arc second per second. Um, where I think this is going to be really useful, for me anyway, is when um, using the go-to function in CPWI to slew to a target, um, particularly like a planet where I'm, I'm really zoomed in, I oftentimes have to then make um, some adjustments to get it centered in the screen uh, when I'm doing um, astrophotography. And so to do that, uh, I would um, hold my laptop in my hands and either look through the eyepiece or look on the screen in sharp cap and uh, either try to use the, the arrow keys on the laptop uh, or try to use the trackpad to click on the movement buttons in the CPWI interface, um, it was always really kind of cumbersome. And so I'm very much looking forward to giving this a try. Uh, we've got cloudy skies for the next couple of days. I don't know what I'll be able to get up there and try it, but um, this will be a much more natural uh, interface uh, because these things are designed for you to use without looking at them. It's also very small. You can hold it in one hand, so you can very easily look through an eyepiece or look at the screen while you're doing your very fine adjustments with the hand controller. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd make a video on this just because uh, I came across uh, a, a two-year-old thread on the uh, Cloudy Nights forums where folks were talking about it um, and hadn't seen uh, any other YouTube video where it was talked about. So I um, just wanted to share this with you. So good luck and clear skies.